So here's a couple of models that we've used in class. You may also have been playing around with the Molly Mod kits and I didn't have a photo of them, so I haven't put one of them in at this stage, but uh, we may update those later. We did play with the blocks though, and the blocks were a great way of trying to identify how we can transfer protons from one species to another. So acid solutions, for example, where we have an ion, like a chloride ion, and the hydronium ion can give us a representation of the fact that we have a strong acid, which uh, all of the molecules have been ionized, but also something that is relatively concentrated as well, as there's uh, virtually no free water molecules in this particular example. In the example um, to the right over here, we have three little representative water molecules. and one little set of blocks representing an NH3. Now there's no ionization happening at all here. So obviously what we would want is if this is going to act as a base, it's going to attract a proton, uh, which is going to be transferred from one of those water molecules. Again, this time uh, there's only a small amount of water. So uh, it's uh, a, probably a, a mid-range solution you might uh, regard with a very, very small amount of uh, base in it. In the third example, you can see we've got lots and lots of water molecules. So this is a real um, dilute solution because of the amount of water, um, but also it must represent a weak um, substance, an acid or a base, because there's no ionization that's going on here. So our models are designed to help us to identify the degree of ionization and also the species that are present once ionization uh, or dissociation, if it's a base, occurs. We've also got simulations and simulations are another great way of looking at how um, pH, for example, changes during a titration, how the pH of a solution changes when we add an acid or a base to it, and whether those changes occur gradually or through some of those really steep um, vertical lines that we've seen in some of the uh, titration examples from previous videos. So uh, what we do with our models is they help us to explain some of the very important characteristics. And the most important characteristics that we need to be aware of is the fact that when we have a weak acid or a weak base, the conjugate that's formed is opposite. And it's possible that that conjugate then and may interact with water. And that's why it's important because once we know whether we're dealing with a, a strong or a weak acid or base, then we can think about the conjugate and how that conjugate is going to interact with water. And that interaction with water can create more um, H plus ions and push the pH into the acid range or more hydroxide ions and push it into the base range.